Oh, thank you, Lord God, the creator of the heavens and earth, oh Lord, for making me happy this day. I say hallelujah. And uh, who can be likened unto thee? None that the Holy God lives in Zion, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even uh, our rock of salvation, our fortress. Oh Lord, many had planned to see a day like this, but they didn't. I've seen this day because of thy power and the masses. I say thank you. Because we know from thy scriptures, your masses and graciousness endure it for evil. Thank you, Lord Father. As this um, a wonderful morning, I will be tackling thy word. Oh Lord, I pray. Use me as thy vessel, not my intelligence or, no, or any glory I seek, but may I divide thy word in spirit and in truth. And may this word touch a person who does believe in thee, even those Christians who have believed in thee, but uh, they have not understood the uh, scripture. And I proclaim, I say, the Lord God of Israel has given me an understanding of the, his holy word. And this knowledge, I will keep quiet and spread it across the world. Because, O oh Lord, O oh Father, you've given me understanding of this scripture. And let it touch even those who believe in thee. And they shall be glad because you are the Lord who revealeth the secrets. Thank you, Lord God, for this <clears throat> a calm morning. As the sun rises and east, I'll, pray, I'll praise the Lord, the creator of the heavens and earth. Thank you, Lord God. And uh, in this um, early morning, I will reveal for the first time that Holy Michael, Archangel Michael, as scripture. Uh, calls him. This is the creator of the heavens and earth. And um, there is no any other God. It's Michael who created all things. But how, how can it be? This uh, is a shock to Christians, even who will hear this message. And uh, our brethren Jews, and even Muslim, and many. It's a it's a tradition because um, in the history of the Hebrew scriptures, which is 5,000 plus, <laughs> and hearing today a person uh, comes claiming uh, Angel Michael is God, is shocking more than the, the Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom we say is the Lord, creator of all things. Oh Lord, thank you, Lord Father. It's not my intelligence. Many landed men and women, even who came before me, even thousands of years before. They didn't see these things. I've seen these things not of any education, but it's thy power. For God, you bless us whom you will. I say, I repeat, holy Michael, whom millions who died and those who are still existing in this planet are still saying is an angel this is the holy one of heaven is the one who created all things thank you lord for this knowledge thank you lord father for this liberation oh god you are might lord god who lives in heaven of heavens and i glorify thee even all days of my life saying thank you for this favor but how holy michael is <laughs> god this um, is a shock to many because um, the Bible, all I can say, the scriptures, um, the people have studied in colleges, they, are, they, are, they have uh, gone word by word. But no one, no one in, in, Jewish, in Jewish families, in Christianity families, who has come up and said, Holy Michael, is the creator of all things and i say only father has given me this knowledge that i'll share what 
intelligence oh lord god of heaven has made me understand so i say holy michael is the creator of all things of the heaven and earth he created all people all angels all the beasts all the falls of falls falls the, of, um, and of, of earth, fishes all things but uh, really how um, this is um, the, the real thing and uh, within the scripture i shall give the evidence that holy michael is the creator of the heaven and earth thank you lord thank you jesus thank you for everything thank you for the masses oh lord and that's why when you read in the genesis i think the 127 and 6 there uh, let's create a man in, in, our, in our own image <laughs> this is a uh, holy michael and uh, the jew the, the jewish the legend of jews have portrayed holy michael as an angel of god but when we study deeply and in prayer the scriptures of the lord now we see <clears throat> Of all the holy ones in heaven, it's it's only holy Michael has no wings, <laughs> and now this also is a shocker. I want anybody who will hear this message to know, to know, holy Michael has no wings, but he flies <laughs> without wings. <laughs> you see, this is a shock. And um, name, name those we, we've read, uh, the angel Raphael, Michael, Sa Sariel, angel Ramiel, we have um, angels like Fanuel, and the myriads and the myriads of angels. These are winged. But only Michael has no wings. And, and, and this kind of discovery, I'm saying, even the legend of Jews, no one has come up uh, to see angel michael as the scripture calls him has no wings this i reveal today all winged angels in heaven in their thousands and thousands but uh, it's only michael has no wings because this is your creator this is the god who created the heavens and earth and uh, just to point a few scriptures here and there we go to book of genesis chapter uh, 21 verse 17 we see hagar the mother of of ishmael when um, when uh, she was uh, chased away by um, uh, the mother sarah uh, she was wandering in the desert or wilderness and um, god a uh, god all angel of god talks with them we see even this angel of god they meet they talk face to face this is holy michael when the scripture and um, you hear i have seen god god talked with me then some people say a uh, god uh, can send a representative uh, go and be god it cannot happen it has never happened in the history of the scripture god cannot give his glory to another he cannot he cannot he cannot he cannot say go on my behalf it will never happen this is holy michael and this is your god and he can assume he can assume an image of man and and that's why when this christ fits this image you find um, the people like uh, brethren G jews are confused because god cannot be imaged but god go god, god when we read isaiah chapter 55 <laughs> oh my god this verse 9 and then uh, your thoughts are not my thoughts and my ways will never be your ways so he can do whatever he wants in his uh, uh, holiness even the lord creator of the heavens and earth thank you lord god uh, thank you their masses thank you for this uh, knowledge many uh, men and women have desired to understand these things but you reveal these things to whom you will thank you lord thank you christ Thank you for thy glory and power, O oh Lord of heavens. I glorify thee, say, there's not any God than holy Michael. So, so we, we see God to, talks with the Hagar, mother of Ishmael, straight from heaven. This is holy Michael. Oh, thank you. 
Oh Jesus, thank you, Father. We see uh, uh, the, the beloved uh, the, uh, prophet of God, Moses. He says, I want to see you, God. I want to see you. I want to see you. But God is saying, you cannot see me, but you see my back parts. And uh, physically, you, you see, that's so we say in scripture, it's not a storybook. You, you come, you read, you just explain the way the students of literature, that they can uh, tell us these things. Oh, hallelujah. And the uh, God passes before Moses physically. And uh, we know you cannot see God, but you now we see you can see God, but his face. You cannot. And in that book of Exodus chapter 33, we see physical. God passes while he places a prophet Moses in, in a cleft of a rock. And Moses did see his back parts that his face cannot be seen. Exodus chapter 33, 22, 23 verses. Ha, hallelujah. And this is Holy Mikhail. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus, thank you for this intelligence. So, you are holy, holy, holy forever. And, the con and the still uh, uh, continuing uh, uh, to prove these verses, this is um, Holy Mikhail. Uh, we see in the book of Numbers when uh, Moses, prophet of God, was overwhelmed by the work. And God, God tells Moses, I will, I will come down, I will come down, I will come down. Not when he uses the, like a, a cloud or a peel of cloud to come down. God came down in the book of Numbers chapter 11, verse 17. And he, he takes the Holy Spirit within Moses. And he also, he, he, he also <laughs> and he gives, or we, we can say, he puts this Holy Spirit to seven elders of Israel and they prophesied to read and book of Numbers chapter 11 uh, starting uh, verse 16 thank you Lord and this is Holy Michael when he assumes the image of man and he comes down and I repeat to you God cannot give his his glory to another neither his praise to a graven image that's the um, book of prophet Isaiah Chapter 42, verse 8, you, you, you're saying on this an angel, uh, God can say, angel, go and be God. It has never happened, and it will never happen. And that's why when you, you, you read the book of prophet Daniel, it's uh, the chapter 9, chapter 10, 11, when uh, man Gabriel it comes to interpret the, the dream which um, uh, Daniel did not understand before, Daniel uh, uh, tried to, to, uh, to pay respect, but, but he's saying, no, 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 worship God worship God and that's why in that chapter 10 of book of Daniel so oh, hallelujah hallelujah Gabriel only Gabriel oh my god verse 21 he's telling he's telling he's telling uh, prophet Daniel and the one who has the scripture all scripture secrets the one who this scripture belongs to Holy Michael. Oh my God. How can angel be the word? The word is God and then God is the word. And uh, this water I reveal for the first time. Holy Michael is the creator of all things. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you God. Thank you Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord of Israel. Because you are my Lord and Savior. And there is no God in thee. And you are the Lord God to be worshipped by all things, by all people, because you are holy, holy, holy for evil. And as, as still reading scripture, I'm pointing a few scriptures. We go to book of Kings, chap, uh, First Kings, chapter eleven, verse nine. We see um, when we, when we start little back, um, we start maybe from. Um, uh, chapter 10, we see uh, Solomon marrying um, women from uh, Zidonians, women from uh, uh, Ammonites, um, uh, Moabites, uh, and uh, even uh, 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 Dr. Pharaoh. And uh, this um, the kind of kinds of women, God uh, had forbid Israel from, from the law of Moses because they'll make you worship images, worship idols, even abominations and confusion. Solomon uh, thought he was intelligent, he could, he could control these women, but later he worships these uh, images. So in the book of uh, First Kings, 
uh, chapter 11, verse 9, uh, uh, God had appeared to King Solomon twice. How? <laughs> He, you see, so uh, King Solomon saw God, and that's why we, we, we see this is holy Michael. <laughs> oh, oh, scripture indeed is not a storybook. Scripture is not a storybook. That's uh, this confirms without a reasonable doubt. Because you know what, people just come and read and read and go. But you need to pray. You need to fast and ask the Lord of Heaven. Oh, please. Lord, I want to learn these things. And God is merciful and gracious. He will make you understand. And they don't think that uh, I'm, I'm the most intelligent person in the world uh, for discovering these um, um, a kind of secrets that Holy Michael is God and people have come before me. You just uh, fast and ask God, oh God of heavens, make me, oh my Holy Father, understand uh, this scripture. And... Um, he will, he will reveal uh, this um, scripture to you. He will, if he has made us understand, you will also understand the scripture um, of the Holy Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the masses. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Then the, another one that is um, God when he descends upon Holy Mount Sinai starting book of Exodus chapter 19 and the 20 where he, he, he gave the Israelites law. A lot of people will ask, so who descended <laughs> upon Holy Morsana? Is it um, uh, God the Father? The, all me? Don't be confused by the, the scripture, oh people of God. The one who descends upon Holy Morsana is Holy Michael, oh my God, but how, how is this the, the truth, how, you, you see the things that um, uh, people say, if Jews are worshipping this way, this must be the truth, but we go to the Tanakh itself, Tanakh in Hebrew is, a, is the a core Holy Testament, we just go there and I prove to you, here yeah, I'm not using guesswork, like I'm in uh, uh, guesswork. Uh, uh, it's like this. Uh, no, no, no way. Here we go to the scripture. And here we're not taking verses out of contra contra context on the, of the say, contrast or context. So this is true evidence of the living scripture. You see, when you, when you, when, when you, when you read, what can I explain? You see, you see it's like... Um, I don't remember the chapter within the book of Mark where, where um, a person is asking Christ, uh, oh, 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 good, uh, you are good. Christ is, is telling this, this guy, this guy wanted, wanted to know um, uh, about the kingdom of the, of the Lord and uh, how it will be at the end times and how can the kingdom be. Jesus is telling this, uh, this uh, rich man that the kingdom of God is within you. And the nobody can be good, it's only God. But this Christ is the same God, and the people don't understand scripture. Then, then when he, he says like this, people just say, no, no, they are stuck there. The, 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 the good one is God. So this Christ, he was just a message, he cannot be God. But, uh, but when you read at the end of the chapter, now Christ, you know, is revealing to this guy. And eh? you desire one of the days of son of son of man and the son of man like lightning when he comes everybody will see him he is now telling him the truth at the end but at the first he is just um, using a parable hi oh god of heavens you are holy 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 one and that's why in words of prophet jeremiah uh, chapter 20 and uh, uh, god you've deceived these people not that god can deceive it's a, it's a parable that's why when you go to the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 1 and 2, I'll open uh, uh, my mouth in parable. That's why this scripture is in parable. And uh, you find um, these parables do confuse a lot of people. And that's why we say, pray the Lord God of heavens to open your understanding. If you come with your own artificial intelligence, I tell you, you'll, you, you'll, you'll float. I tell you, you don't understand these things. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. You are the one who reveals these secrets. Um, 
that was, I was still pointing this scripture, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 5. Isaiah, prophet Isaiah is telling us, um, I'm a man of unclean lips, even living with unclean people. And my eyes have seen the king. And that's why one of the seraphim, oh my God, he flies up, he takes a call of fire from the throne of God, and he punches the mouth. The prophet Isaiah. Isaiah says, I have seen the king. How can you see the king? Oh, this is holy Michael who was sitting um, <laughs> upon the throne of God. And going back, I was still explaining when God descended upon holy Morsanai. A lot of people, people, they don't uh, read the scripture. I don't understand. These things were written thousands of years even before you were born. But we thank you, God though we can understand them in the book of exodus chapter 20 god descends upon sana and he gives the law but uh, how then can i prove this is only me Kyle. we go to the book of exodus chapter 24 verse 10 and they saw the god of israel oh my god exodus chapter 24 read verse 10 they saw the god of israel and even description and then there was a, a work of every sapphire and uh, and then um, his his body was a clearness a, a body a body of heaven in clearness even uh, moses is describing how god appeared and you are telling us you are telling us oh the father just descended those clouds and thunder and this is holy michael but the scripture tells you you cannot see God until you are sealed. That's when the book of prophet Ezekiel, chapter 8, you start in chapter 8, chapter 9, we see people be sealed. That's why St. John in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, and they saw those who are sealed in Israel. The number of the Lord is written on their foreheads. Then after this number is written the only number of our Lord Christ then you will see God face to face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then we see, you read the book of Exodus chapter 24, verse 10, and they saw the God of Israel. How? In which image? Not in, in a cloud or a pillar of cloud. Oh, they saw him and he is described and you are telling us, I don't know which scripture these people read. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, you heart my God. And going to the book of prophet Daniel, <laughs> chapter 7, God, chapter 7, verse 13, prophet Daniel is saying, And I saw Son of Man descending in clouds of heaven. This is holy Michael. This is holy Michael. When you hear the scripture, angel of God, this is holy Michael, and he is the creator of the heavens and earth, all things. This is our God. And um, they've been saying this is an angel because this of the legend of Jews. And then um, the church, through the Catholic church, and up today they are saying, Holy Michael is an angel. I say, first of all, Holy Michael has no wings. Then the Holy Michael, he is no angel. This is your creator. And his appearance, I'll still shock you in these um, uh, uh, revelations. He appears, um, uh, and his appearance of a young man, a young man of 30 years, is young and handsome, handsome. This appearance of Holy Michael, if you don't know. And um, for those who are holy and lucky and anointed, Holy Michael can appear to them if he wishes. Like the saints, he can appear to them. <laughs> and when he comes, he's just like a man, he'll talk. He will bless you and go. And that's why you are told, be, be of charity, be of good heart. Welcome gets in your house. <coughs> um, sorry, you never know. A holy Michael can visit you. And old Michael has no wings. Of all the holy ones of heaven, a holy Michael is only and has no wings. And this is a, this is a revelation I reveal today after thousands of years and not it's uh, my knowledge I, I know too much i'm intelligent intelligent than uh, those uh, masters of theology oh no these kind of revelations is is um, 
blessings from the God of heavens. He, he will bless whom he will. And uh, still pointing scriptures, um, a few scriptures. We see in the book of um, Revelation chapter 1. <coughs> oh, sorry. Book of Revelation chapter 1, verse 70, verse um, uh, starting verse 15, and um, St. John, he sees, and um, uh, God who says, I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, uh, he had um, in his eyes lamps of fire, and, and there was brightness and within him, and we can see his dress, it's he, of gold, appearance, his dress is of, his appearance of gold. And now going to the book of prophet Daniel, uh, chapter 10, starting verse 5 and 6. And the Daniel is telling that, uh, that also what he saw, he saw the, the, this man. <laughs> he, his eyes were lambs of fire. And he had a golden a girdle, you can say, clothing or covering of his body. And, and like a gold of upas. You see? It's the same holy Michael. He has a, a, his eyes are lamps of fire, meaning when you look at him, you just faint. And that's why in the book of Acts, uh, I, uh, the chapter is, uh, is it chapter uh, 5? Chapter 5? Where, um, where it's within chapter, uh, the beginning of the book of Acts, where we see Saul uh, persecuting Christians. And um, near Damascus, mm, yeah. we, we, we see either chapter 5 or 9, this, um, uh, um, I'm not sure. We see the lightning <laughs> coming from heaven and the Christ talks with, with them, the soul. Why are you per persecuting me? And the soul loses his sight because of this light of holiness of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Christ. And this is Holy Michael speaking. When uh, Stephen is killed by those uh, Jews, he says uh, he's seeing Christ sitting at the right hand of God. Now this is, this is another, <laughs> another misunderstanding of the scripture. When we say um, the Christ sitting at the right hand of God, this means he's sitting at his seat of glory. They, 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 can, they cannot be two lords, as it has never been. The Lord God is one God and indivisible God. But misinterpretation of the all the words like the Son, the Father, the Holy Spirit. Now some people now say the Son was with the Lord from the foundation of the earth. This is also a misunderstanding of the scripture. Read the book of, uh, of St. Mark, uh, chapter 12, verse 29. On Israel, our Lord God is one. The same the book of um, the Deuteronomy chapter 6. I think it's a verse 5, verse 5, verse 4. Uh, listen, O Israel, our Lord, God is one Lord. And, and um, some people come and interpret it. Oh, oh, sorry, God, forgive our sins. Forgive, forgive us because we don't know what we say. You try to, to sediment God that the Son, the Holy Spirit are living in heaven. This is paganism. We have one Lord. But... Um, Within these uh, tri Trinitarian uh, things, I'll explain another day. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. So I've tried to, to point out a few scriptures confirming Holy Michael is the creator of heaven and earth. And this discovery is a, is a favor from God. I'm not uh, intelligent than any mortal man uh, or woman in this earth. I'm not even learned. I never went to school of theology. But God of Israel, I say, he has given me understanding of scripture. God of Israel has blessed me in understanding of the scriptures and glory to him alone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this discovery. Thank you, Father, for this knowledge. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, you are holy God who lives in heaven. Oh, Father, thank you, Father, for this day. As I end uh, uh, this um, uh, uh, session and, and explanation of um, you being our God, oh Holy Michael, I, um, I know there are those who love thee, even uh, Christians in this world.
they are in pain undergoing struggles others in persecution they are those who are sick oh lord visit them father and heal them i pray you oh lord of heavens father forgive their sins and heal them father give them breakthrough and they shall be thanked thankful to thee because you created us we are flesh and we sin every day oh lord be merciful unto us oh lord father open their ways oh lord father those who are not married those who, are, who want to marry those who want to do their business those who want who have desires of their own father you know oh lord father bless them as they go in as they go out let the angel father go before them and those who are under persecution save them from the yoke of satan and his agents and the principality of this world i rebuke i rebuke them in thy holiness oh jesus father i know my lord there are those who are not saved they are, they are not there are those who are in doubt they have been confused by pleasures of this world and the sons of the real do keep on lying and the misinterpretation of the scripture oh lord father touch their souls oh jesus oh father touch them father so that they can come to the kingdom of the lord and i say come and go baptism follow the laws of god there, there is no any other way to eternal life but is by christ alone and that's the book of st john chapter 14 verse 6 and this god is holy michael don't be lied by those who don't understand the scripture of god the scripture of god needs a fasting and prayer and dedication and studying and reading to understand the hidden message in the scripture thank you lord father thank you jesus thank you for being me thank you for this wonderful early morning oh lord you bless me father use me as thy vessel and father i pray whatever you shall reveal to me i shall communicate it to the world oh lord let not be my glory no 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 oh father no 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 father and if i've sinned in any way in explaining this message oh father i don't want to use my own words i want to use what you you've revealed to me because you are to my lord god and savior and i say bless me father give me more wisdom give me more knowledge of the scripture and i shall share Oh, my knowledge to the sons of men in this world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for thy glory. Thank you for thy power. Thank you for being me. Oh, Lord God, you are his kingdom. Oh, thank you, Father. Power and glory and for evil and evil. Oh, Lord, thank you, Christ. And uh, as I, uh, I end this message, I want you to know, Holy Michael, this is your God. Is the creator of all things and the fear lord christ because he the reveals these kind of secrets to babies oh um, in the name of the lord god amen and hallelujah 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 hosanna 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 to the eye